Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So hopefully you guys had a great day. Mine was crazy busy as usual. Um, I usually don't work on Thursdays, but I have to make up some hours that I missed last week due to the retreat. So I worked this morning, and then when I got done, I ran loads of errands. Literally, as soon as you get in the car and hit the next spot, your air conditioner just starts to cool down your vehicle. So literally, it was a hot, sticky mess for about three hours. Got home. Um, Bo actually had to drive to California today to pick up some stuff for his work. So we literally got home within about 45 minutes of each other, made dinner, wasn't the greatest, but at least we're not going to go to bed hungry, and that's really all that matters. And now I am out to do my live. So I don't know if you can hear all of the noise behind me. Hopefully my earbuds with the noise canceling kind of cancels everything out. I just did something completely like off the wall crazy. Um, being a demonstrator, you get to see the new catalogs early, and they just came out with the holiday catalog, and it is amazing! It is spectacular, and I couldn't wait to get my hot hands on it, so I am printing the catalog right now. I'm pretty sure it's going to eat up my entire uh, stock of ink, and that's totally okay. It is definitely well worth it. So um, I can't show you the inside pages because we're not allowed, but this is half of the catalog that has printed. Hopefully my printer doesn't jam and I can show you the cover of it. We're allowed to show the cover, but we're just not allowed to show anything on the inside. And pre-order starts next Wednesday at 3 a.m. Salt Lake City time. So I don't think I'm gonna stay up until 2 a.m., but I probably will set an alarm so I can wake up and do an order and get all of the hot little catalogs in my hands and not just the printed version. So good evening, Bev, Marie, Debbie. Hello, everybody. Thanks for logging on and joining. So today's card is, I actually did it yesterday. I was ahead of the game. I knew I was going to be out running errands all day today. So I just wanted to do something very simple, very elegant, very easy, and super duplicatable. We are literally focusing on the designer series paper. We're not using any punches. We are going to stamp twice, maybe three times, but that's it. So if you are a beginner stamper, this is definitely right up at your alley. All you need is designer series paper, some cardstock, your favorite stamp set, and your favorite ink, and you can literally make hundreds of these cards. They are that easy. So let's point you over and, oh, hold on a second. I took all of my cords out of the computer so I could sit and type everything up and I forgot to plug everything back in. Let's plug in and now we can switch you over to the crafting space. So my printer is still going. So hopefully it will be done. The 86 pages, I think it is. Hold on, let me look. I think it's like 86 or 87, 83 pages. So it still probably has a little bit to do. But I decided to bring in the Stargazing 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. I did an entire um, class on this at the retreat. Actually, not a class, but it was all the make and takes we used this Designer Series paper. So I really don't have a lot left, um, just lots of little bits and pieces of it. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Even if you're not kind of a space person, it is still fun. And it's something different. And you could definitely use the other sides for something different. And I just realized that I forgot to open up my iPad. So let's open that up really quick so I can see comments or see who's logging on. Sorry, give me one moment. And we should be good to go. Hopefully, cross your fingers. It never fails. There we go. Okay, so we are live on Facebook and I can see comments. Everything should be good. So this is the designer series paper I'm gonna be using. Let me get all of these pieces out of the way and I will bring in the stamp set. So this is the stamp set that um, matches the designer series paper and it does have framelits or dies, but I didn't bring those over because we're not using them in this um, for this card. 
but nice big images where you could just stamp it in a specific color, die cut it if you want. But the cards we're doing tonight, I am pulling in the Greetings Friends. And you don't need anything on the inside, but I need some birthday cards. So I decided to bring in this great big happy birthday right here to do on the inside of the card. So that is definitely optional when you are making this card. So here is the card I picked. I did the basic black as the card base, which I don't do very often. Um, I usually use our basic white, but I decided to live on the edge a little bit and bring in some basic black. And on the inside, I stamped the happy birthday with these little doodads on the side just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So this is what we're gonna be making. All the measurements are the same and I will bring those in. Sorry, my printer just jammed and I was seeing what was going on with it, but I can't fix it and do a Facebook Live. So this is our basic black. It's four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it right in half at five and a half. So I'm just gonna take this, fold it and give that a good crease. I do have some basic whites and as much as I want to put this on the inside, I'm not entirely sure what color ink I'm going to be using yet. So I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm going to now bring in the designer series paper that I kind of paired up with, with some different colored cardstock. So this one is Starry Sky. I actually think that pairs really well with it. This is Berry Burst. This one is Orchard Oasis. So all of the designer series paper or all of the cardstock matches it perfectly. This is the uh, Tahitian Tide and this one is Fresh Freesia. So there's lots of different options you can pick to do with these. We might not get them all put together tonight, but we can at least start and do some of them. So let's start with the Tahitian Tide. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Oh, I forgot to give you the measurements of it. So the designer series paper is three and three fourths by five. Your cardstock is four inches by five inches. So we're gonna just layer these guys together. And glue this down. I'll bring in the first um, card just so I can kind of show you what I was talking about. Um, when I said I wasn't sure what color ink I wanted to use. So this one, as you can see the inside, I stamped in Lemon Lime Twist. And I did do Lemon Lime Twist for the top version. It's actually sitting right here. But I kind of thought it blended a little too much. So I decided to do the Berry Burst on the outside. And had I not already glued that in, I probably would have done Berry Burst on the inside as well. So since this one is Tahitian Tide, there is some berry burst. So let's pull in the berry burst on this one. So I have my little scrap for my sentiments. And I like, if I am stamping on the inside, I like to stamp this before I glue it in, just in case I get a halo or if it's not straight or even, then you can flip it over. So there's lots. I'm going to stamp the little stars in the corner. And I am going to clean these as I go, just in case I want to use a different color. I'm not going to accidentally cross contaminate my ink pads. That would definitely put a damper on my amazing evening. So let's bring in Greetings Friend. And this little smidgen is two inches uh, long by three fourths of an inch wide. And you do need to stand on your tippy toes unless it is right in front of you. And hopefully I got that straight. Nope, and I got a halo. That's why there's two sides to each piece of paper, right? Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. Okay, that's not too shabby. Clean that off. And I think we're good with the berry burst. So let's go ahead and glue this on the inside. I 
So I won't be able to show you the cover page of the new catalog because my printer jams. It did, it is printing 84 pages at one time. So I will give it a little bit of a break. So grab some dimensionals. Good evening, Darlene, welcome. Do your greetings, friends. So you can do this up top, you can do it at the bottom. I actually think I'm just gonna do it right in the center. And I didn't bring any rhinestones over. I thought I had some, but I will sprinkle a couple little rhinestones on the edge, which is totally um, optional as well. You don't have to do that. But look how simple and easy and super adorable these cards are. They definitely go together super quick. And you could mass produce these and have your entire month's birthday cards ready for the mail. Another little trick is, I actually think I have an envelope right here. So here's an envelope. After you put your return address, write it out to it. Sometimes I will just write their birthday here in the corner. You could do it in pen or pencil, but when you put the stamp over it, it covers it. So it is definitely ready to go for when you need it. So that's just a little tidbit, hopefully a little helpful hint. So this one I'm using is the Starry Sky. And you could really dress these up more if you wanted to, but sometimes less is more. That's why I like the designer series paper they come out with because it is absolutely phenomenal no matter which way you look at it. And I actually think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. That's the original one that I stamped for the other color. And you can see that I messed up, so I had to turn it over. So we're going to put these down. And let's do this one a little cattywampus. There's that. Let's bring in the card base. And I am gonna use Lemon Lolly for the inside. I'm sorry, Lemon Lime Twist for the inside because that's the same color that's on the outs. There we go. Clean that off so it's ready for the next one. Grab your little stars. And if you're running low on design your series paper and you don't want to stamp or to use um, the designer series paper for the envelope, you could definitely come in here and just add a few little doodads to it. There we go. It's as easy as that. Let's put this on the inside. Let me close this up. Glue this to the inside. And there you go. Doodads, yes. It's a new word. Okay, let's just do one more. You guys kind of get the hint, you get the gist of it, but they're just so fun and something different. And that's what I like is you can make it you. You can do as much as you want or as little as you want and it's still absolutely phenomenal. Line that up. There we go. Let's bring this in. Let's see, what color should we use? Oh, let's use bubble bath. Might be a little light, but that's okay. If we don't like it, we can use something else. Okay, stand on your tiptoes. Make sure that is going to be even. Eh, not tragic. I'll keep it. Let's bring in piece of card stock or a basic white for the inside. I actually got done cleaning my craft room yesterday super early. So I went ahead and cut probably five or six packs of the basic white designer series or the basic white card stock. Um, so I could have those for inside pieces inside um, to use colored card stock. So I, that's one of the reasons why I decided to do the basic black is I had a bunch cut. And I put a little extra stars on there because we can. 
So let's go ahead and line that up. Grab this. And if you're not super interested in this designer series paper, that is totally okay. Any one of our designer series papers would look beautiful like this. I think it's sometimes hard for us crafters to think of new ideas when the idea is already there. We just need to simplify it a little bit. Let's glue this to the inside. And voila. And I actually don't think the bubble bath was too light at all for it. So I do have a few more that I will be finishing up tomorrow or the next day, whenever. But this just gives you a little idea of what you can just do with designer series paper. And it's super fun. And you're still going to put a smile on somebody's face when they get it. So thank you so much for joining me. If you need any help ordering any of the supplies that I use today, definitely reach out to me. I do work tomorrow morning, but I can always, on my break, send you a message back. If you need any help, definitely reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Tuesday for another Facebook Live. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.